Hi, I'm Pauline and we're here at the Green New Life Expo and I'm here with Clayton Gallagher, Hope for Homeless Youth. Okay, so my question is how, what is this um, type of program? What is it? What, what are you trying to do here with it? Well, our burden is all the runaway, throwaway uh, kids or youth in America. They run out to Hollywood to make it big in movies or, you know, they're, they're the product of a breakdown of the American family. And uh, so we have a burden to reach all those youth. And so that's why we're here. We, we have five properties. We're mostly located at the old Queen of Angels Hospital called the Dream Center. We have 35 rooms there, uh, 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 housing for mothers with little children that are stranded and they sleep in their cars. And we have a one year uh, drug and alcohol faith-based rehabilitation center for guys that just, uh, you know, are throwaways. They don't have parents. Uh, Nobody wants them, cares about them. They kind of bury their pain in drugs and alcohol. They become suicidal. So we have a one-year inner healing and rehabilitation uh, program ministry for them there. And uh, we do about 17 outreaches a week. Uh, we go out and give roses to the prostitutes in the middle of the night. Uh, some, sometimes we camp out with the homeless kids and buy them breakfast in the, in the morning and uh, just do a bunch of radical wild stuff like that. Okay, well, my next question is, how did you get started? Like, what made you um, become passionate about this? Because obviously you have passion towards this, I guess. Well, I was kind of a, a troubled youth myself. Uh, as a young teenager, somebody reached out to me, shared God's love with me, and that touched my heart. And uh, I just, I, I think God just broke my heart. I, I came out here to Hollywood about 30 years ago now, and I saw probably 25 uh, girls selling their bodies out on the streets, you know, as young as 13 years old, and it, and nobody was reaching out to them, nobody was helping them. You know, I knew they were like the breakdown of the American family and uh, just throwaway kids, a lot of them. And so, I just started reaching out to them, and so that's I kind of started from there. And then my next question: I'm seeing all these toys. Um, is this how we've been able to keep it going, or? Absolutely. And so as part of, uh, you know, we're not funded by the government uh, or any, any one institution. <laughs> so we, uh, we raise all our own funding to, to do the, uh, all these outreaches that we do and, and pay the bills on, on our, our five different uh, facilities, locations. And so we, we all get together and we pray and God gives us uh, creative toy ideas. And then all the money goes into a, a fund that helps to uh, pay the bills, you know, and uh, we believe we serve a, a uh, creative Heavenly Father, you know, and uh, when we pray and open our hearts up to the Lord. I'm Paulina, and I'm here, we're here back in the Green New Life Expo, and I'm with all of her. Okay, um, I have some amazing toys because they're catching my eye right now, and I would just want to know um, an, a demonstration of any of these. Uh, a few of the stuff we we've done uh, we the kids have developed a whole new way to control radio control uh, devices and toys okay uh, like the, like uh, here's a helicopter that we control okay and we this is the uh, controller that we invented okay we actually have a patent on the sensors inside this okay rather than the old-fashioned way with your thumbs the kid feels that he's in the cockpit whatever I do with this stick is where the helicopter is going to fly in the air yes okay. Uh, okay okay it detects it's called attitudinal positioning of the body okay so it's going to control it so the kid feels like that he's in the cockpit this is actually the joystick controller in a, in a virtual helicopter or an F F-22 jet okay so we have one for the uh, the jet model so the kid flies flies the jet by positioning this and it does all kinds of acrobatics and so on while he's working this and then the the tongue there is the throttle okay so that's a uh, that's when we sold about uh, 33,000 of these in radio all the radio shacks over Christmas so it's done really good it sold out right away we'll be putting them back on the market here in about three months okay and the other one uh, we have is a, a controller for uh, motorcycles okay so what I do with this is what the the motorcycle or the ATV or the jet ski what it's going to do and I hit that it breaks it and and uh, so on and that just uh, that just works really well I'll go like that it'll pop a wheelie and I go like that it'll throttle it up so the kid feels like that he's right in the okay. so you use the same idea as these oh, the same idea that the motion like the 
like he's in the car, I guess, or yeah. in the yeah, car. it's and uh, in the world that have come up with a new, uh, VR virtual reality controller where the kid gets the experience behind the handlebars, okay? And the toy companies have loved this, and uh, they pay us a nice royalty, and um, uh, and it all goes to help run the shelter. Yeah, that's the beauty of it, that it all comes back into the program that you're enforcing. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got a bunch of stuff we're working on. I might show you one that we just we just invented here. Um, this is what we call uh, Fido, believe it or not. And uh, I'll show you this little device here. And the kids actually manufacture this thing. And it it uh, the name of it is Fido, and that stands for uh, find, fetch, and protect your phone. Believe it or not. Okay. And what it is is it's a cell phone leash. Okay. So that you never you never lose your phone again, okay? And uh, I'll show it here. This this is an adhesive uh, patcher. You peel this off, you stick it on your phone, and it holds it very, very good. I'll show you my phone here. Demonstration right yeah, now. Yeah, I'll give you my demonstration <laughs> here. Okay, here it is. And uh, I've got it here on my, my iPhone here. It's connected right on the back. It's very, very strong. I can pull that. Uh, women love it. Uh, they put this right on the uh, the strap of their purse, and then they can always find their phone when it rings, and then it, they can pull it out without disrupting articles in their phone or in their purse. It's always right there and so on, and uh, then they just, you know, put this right to the ear. It also keeps you from breaking your phone if you drop it, okay, because it, it actually is uh, it's an elastic adhesive there that, that uh, right back, and it uh, so you don't drop and break it. Most men like to put this right on their, their belt loop of their uh, pants or you can, uh, part of our patent works where this goes on the uh, the belt tongue of your cell phone case. Some, some people have cases, not many, so it all works right on the case and again it's all it's all retractable and then the chain, believe it or not, is kind of a, maybe I can stand up here with a little bit. <laughs> chain is uh, kind of a fashion statement there if you can see my my chain hanging there okay then some people don't have a belt loop to, to put their to put their Fido on and so we have a little clip that comes with the thing and uh, this actually you can clip that right on your your jogging pants or whatever it might be and it and it really does the same thing so that's it. We, you know, it's all a ten dollar um, donation to our charity. All the money goes to help, you know, reach out. And so they can call two one two one three eight two zero eight three zero five. That's two one three eight two zero eight three zero five. Or that's in Los Angeles. Or or they can go to our website, which is Hope for Homeless Youth. Dot org. That's all spelled out, no spaces. Hope for homeless youth. Dot org. Well, thank you for your time. Very interesting you know, learning about it. So, thank you. I appreciate this. It's been great. I mean, um,